Welcome back to our channel and our Olympia wrap up. This first installment is the wrap up of wellness at the IFB Olympia this year. And if you could be so kind as to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, the more that you do that, the more content we can bring you, the more respect our women in this sport will receive. I'm really, really, truly passionate about bringing high quality content so you can understand these divisions a little bit better and enjoy. Please tell me what you like please ask questions. I would be more than happy to answer anything that you may have. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, so let's move on to wellness. So um, again, my prediction for wellness played out pretty much how I thought it was going to. Pretty much how I thought it was going to. So Franciel, uh, Francielli, however you pronounce her name, um, she did win, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, she is, in my mind, what wellness should be. Not overly anything. Her, you know, she her lower half is bigger than her upper half, but she's not overly conditioned. She's got a really pretty look to herself. Very feminine, very nice flow to her whole, her whole frame. Um, I would have liked to see her back pose be a little bit closer. I felt like her legs were a little bit too far apart in her back pose. That is the one thing that I wasn't really happy with. Um, but, you know, other than that, she looked phenomenal. So I am really, really happy with that particular choice. Um, she worked that stage. She's been doing this for a long time. Uh, you know she knew what she was doing. You know what I mean? Um, and it was just a really, really good look. Now, for those of you that were here during my prediction video, I told you that depending on how these top four played out, that was going to determine the look for the rest of the of the division. And it played out exactly how I said it was going to. <laughs> uh, I thought Angela Borges was the most aesthetically pleasing, was she too conditioned? I disagree. Um, Angela, Angela Borges, I, I actually, to be perfectly honest with you, I probably would have put her a little bit lower than second. Um, while she looks amazing, I felt her glutes were distracting. Um, while wellness is heavier on the bottom, it still has to have a flow to the physique. And to me, her glutes just, I kept looking at her glutes and that's all I could look at was her glutes. And even in wellness, you don't want to have one thing that you're always looking at. You know what I mean? And that's what it was with her. I was always looking at her glutes. So you still want to have a pretty good flow. So personally, I'm okay with her being in second, but I personally probably would have put her a little lower. I probably would have put her in third. I probably put, would have put Isabel over her, honestly. Um, yep, Issa second. Yep, see, there you go, right there. Issa second, exactly. Uh, her glutes were different. Yes, they were. And they were, to me, they were, they were distracting. Again, you don't want any one thing to be the thing that you look at. You know, you want to flow to the physique. And Francielli has that flow. Uh, to me, Angela did not. To me, Angela did not. Angela's legs need to be bigger for those glutes. Correct, exactly. Thank you, that makes sense. You're welcome, you're welcome. Um, yeah, I personally probably would have put Isabel in third. Um, or I'm sorry, in second, and, and Angela in third. I would have flipped the two. That would be that would have been my choice. Um, but like I said in my prediction video, I told you these were gonna be your top four. You know, these were gonna be your top four, and depending on how they played out, that was gonna determine the rest of the pack. Right, that was going to determine what they did with everybody else, right? I also thought that uh, that it is all just look like, like a small version of Renzielli would put her second too. Yeah, I agree. I would have liked to see Issa in second. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. That Issa is just a yes. Issa is just a small version of Francielli. Yes, I agree. Hundred percent. I agree. I would have put her in second. Um, and then Eurishna in fourth. Eurishna was like the odd man out in this top four. Um, she didn't particularly look like the other three. Uh, and that's simply because they're different people. <laughs> like Eurishna has the Puerto Rican background and then the top three girls are all Brazilian. You know what I mean? Uh, Eurishna to me was a little bit too big. Um, she was a little bit too soft. I know they've told her not to come in as conditioned as she was, but because she was so soft, it actually made her look bigger. Um, so that I, I don't know. I, I, it's a, it's a tough, it's a tough ball game for her because if she comes in too hard, that's going to be her critique that she's too hard. Uh, and if she comes in too soft, then she looks too big, which is what to me, she looked like here. She looked like she was too big. Um, Angela's glutes didn't look like that when she won earlier this year. Correct. They did not. They did not. She looked much, to me, she looked much more balanced in Pittsburgh. 
She looked much more balanced in Pittsburgh than she did here at the Olympia. I agree. Um, but because everything played out the way that it did, then we saw the next set of girls that came out all looking very similar to Francielli. The softer, more attainable, smaller look, right? Um, Julia was a kind of an odd one that I, in that fifth place spot. I was, I was a little bit surprised by that one. I'm okay with it, I'm fine with it, but I, just, I didn't see it coming. That was not part of my prediction. Um, I would have probably put Sunny up there I probably would have put Sunny up there instead of the sixth. I would probably put her in fifth. Um, but again, those are two two spots, you know, just flip them back and forth. Um, and then as you go into that second call out, that's when we started getting the girls, like I, like I mentioned, Bruna, um, you know, Bruna was in there, all of those kinds of things. The smaller girls were in that second call out. So the rest of that group, as we go down the line, played out pretty much how I said it would based on how the top four were positioned, right? So. Angela's left glute looked weird compared to the right. See, I didn't pay attention to the left versus the right. I just paid attention to the glutes in perspective to the rest of the body. You know, um, in person, it was to me, it was it, her glutes were distracting in person. Um, but yeah, this, this, I, to be honest with you, this played out pretty much how I thought it was going to, and I'm happy it went this direction. If you remember, I told you it was gonna go one direction the other. It was gonna go, if your region was up in the top two spots, we were gonna start seeing bigger, more muscular girls following after her. If she was down in the, in the uh, bottom two of those top four and Francielli was in the top, then we're gonna see the softer, smaller, more attainable girls coming up in that second call out, and that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Um, our own Devin placed well too. She actually placed 14th, so she did phenomenal. Um, you know, backstory on Devin just a little bit. She was um, stuck down working in the ER for five days on lockdown during Hurricane Ida. So coming out of that and having to go straight into like two weeks going into prepping for the Olympia, I mean, she looked phenomenal having to go through all of that. So um, beautiful presentation. Couldn't be happier with her new suit and everything. She looked great and I was really, really proud of her for that. So um, you called Barbara doing well too. Yes, yes, sure did. Um, Yay, Devin, what a warrior, right? Exactly, exactly. Uh, Francielli is stunning and the perfect representation for wellness. She fit the criteria perfectly. Exactly, I agree, 100%. Yes, congratulations to Devin. Um, why do you think Renee didn't place higher? To be honest with you, I wasn't, first of all, are you talking about Renee Harshi or are you talking about Renee Jewett? Which one are you talking about? Which one? Um... Yes, awesome job to Devin. Yes, Jewett. Like I said in my preview, she has loose skin on her butt. Renee Jewett has loose skin. I actually um, recorded that. Uh, she's got to fill that out. She's got to fill that out because it's really, really noticeable when she turns around to the back. It's really, really, really noticeable. That's why she didn't place better. Um, I felt like her presentation got better uh, from Tampa. I felt like she got better. But as soon as she started turning, and as soon as she started turning around, you can see that loose skin. Yeah. Um, great job, Devin. Yes, Devin watched you on stage and you killed it. Yep, all oh, makes sense. Yes, at this level, you can't have that. At this level, you can't have that kind of thing or you will get pushed down. That's just bottom line, bottom line. Congratulations, Devin. How do you fix that? The only way to fix that is to fill it out with muscle. That's the only way to fix that. I mean, she doesn't have enough back there to have it surgically removed. Like some people can go get like loose skin surgically removed if you've had a you know, weight loss transformation or something like that. That's actually very possible. But in her case, she's going to have to fill that out with muscle. That's what she's gonna have to do because it's just enough that, it's, that you see it, um, but it's not so much that it can be removed. You know what I mean? She's gonna need to fill that back out with some, some bigger glutes in the back, basically. Um, but yeah, so at the end of the day, I feel like this, this played out very, very well. Very, very well. Um, I was very happy with it. Um, let's move on to bikini now, unless maybe has any other, uh, wellness questions. I'll leave it open. For just a Thank you guys so much for tuning in for our wellness wrap up. Next up will be figure and then finally bikini. So what you want to do is you want to go to my channel, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you know when each one of these segments goes live. Please comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of what we talked about on our live. And please join us when we go live too so you can ask questions right along with us. Again, thank you so much for your support and we'll see you next time.